paper money fun, I hope. It's fun for me. Hope it's fun for you. Let me get everything situated here. This will be our work area right here. Got uh, Kino Rue here to watch today's activity with uh, the accounting firm of uh, Kanga and Loon. And uh, we got some money to go through. We got some fives, some tens, some ones. We got some half dollars we can go through. And that's uh, going to be fun. So we got uh, 28 new rolls of half dollars in the bank today. And we also have our bucket of half dollars from slots the other day. So we got those to go through. We'll probably start with that real quick, just uh, the bucket, because we can. But before we do that, I want to show you what I got in the mail today. Thank you to our friend McPuddin. These are really cool. Right here, a couple of uh, awesome U.S. coins from way back. So this one is a 1850 one cent. From 1850, they're uh, made out of brass. And this is 1822, the large cent. It's hard to see because they're really worn condition, but you can, there you go. As I move it back and forth, you can see the design on there. Uh, they have a variety of values in this condition. They're, uh, you know, good or fair condition. It's more about the history of it. This is something that I will cherish in my collection. This is so, so cool. I appreciate that. Look at those. Aren't those great? Awesomeness. Anyway, I'm going to let uh, Kangaloon sit on top of the coins for us. Keep them safe. Let's do, we'll use the uh, FedEx package, the half dollars from... Our slots the other day. Just take a quick peek at these. Could be something of value in here, maybe not. Some of these, like here's that uh, one we saw last time, the 1147. That has really no value. Just gonna run through them real quick. Set aside anything that's cool. We got the uh, other brand new rolls. And when we look at these rolls here, you're gonna see that a lot of them have the 1976 date on them. So I gotta believe they're solid rolls from that year. Someone put them aside and then uh, needed the money, so they put them in the bank. It was an older gentleman, according to the bank teller. So, 2005? Interesting, 2005. I have not seen one of those in circulation in, you know, forever. So, fantastic. Put that one off to the side. 2002 on to about 2021. They were only made for collectors. We're not supposed to be in circulation. A bunch of bison tails here. Some of these went through the slot machine a couple of times. We kept getting them back, so that's fine. We don't mind. These have some uh, machine marks on them where they went through the machine. You can see the uh, scratches because of that. Hope you guys are having fun. It's raining like hell in Los Angeles. Oh, no, Coach pulled another heist. <laughs> exactly. Coach, are you having a giveaway? Come on, man. Yes, if you uh, show up in the next 20 minutes here at the uh, English Hotel, I'll give you one of these half dollars. That's our big giveaway, so be sure to check that out. This stuff here. So far, nothing too spectacular. That uh, 05 was neat. A lot of very familiar half dollars here. 83P. Is that the one? Uh, I wonder if I... Oh, it's got the FG on it. Go through really quick. I don't see any silver. I don't hear any silver. I'll put this one aside. That might be damaged. That might be because of grease. There's a, a mark on the uh, face of the coin there. Pretty soon we got this uh, entire $1,000 $1 bill stack to go through. That'll be fun. We'll be here for a while, so get yourself a snack. Buckle in. Hit that like button. Tell a friend. Call a neighbor. Uh, hashtag Braun. Braun's your private dancer, dancing for money. There we go. Just stuff, more stuff. 21 and 22. 50 cents stay to stay at this 50 cents thing. I think it was no, 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 not Mr. 50 cent. But I uh, got this going on right here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I had a root canal today. Everything was going great here towards the end. And then the temporary cover they put on just broke off or most of it did so i've got an open exposed tooth right now and uh it's not pleasant so no soda for me or anything till i can get to the dentist tomorrow and hopefully have them cover it back up for me uh but yeah they did some drilling and some poking and some prodding and some uh cutting and tugging and all the things you want done at a massage parlor and they did it to my tooth and now it's open air so when I suck in with a ah, cold air goes right into it. 
not fun at all. Some, nine, some 83s and 82s. So I'm using this as a diversion, this coin thing and these, these uh, paper money things to draw my attention elsewhere on the fact that it freaking hurts. Because I'm not a whiner. I'm not a like a, a baby about it. I'm not going to mention it over and over and over and over and over again, uh, you know, to uh, elicit sympathy or comments of any kind or even thumbs up. Yeah, why would, why would I want thumbs up to make myself feel better? But, you know, if that happened, that'd be really cool. Uh, new subscribers would be really cool. I think, actually, new subscribers actually take some of the pain away. And uh, getting real close to 6,500 on that subscriber thing. Get a good lawyer? Well, it was I knew it was a temporary thing because they have to, have to go back and do the crown fitting uh, for the temp crown and then the real crown, which was unusual because usually they have the temp crown ready when they do the root canal. So maybe I do need a lawyer. I've had this dentist for uh, about 12 or 13 years now. Mel, how you doing? Thank you for the thumbs up. And uh, what he does is he actually over Novocaine's on purpose to make up for his mistakes, in, in my opinion. Uh, so I'm just now, the last remnants of that Novocaine is wearing off, or the whatever it is they shot you up with. I'm not even sure it was Novocaine. It might be his own concoction. He might have made it in his own still. Black fingers or coins is the bonus tonight. Yes, no extra charge. So Bicentennial with the uh, Independence Hall on the back. Got our 250th anniversary as a country coming up. Some might think, wow, that's a long time to be a country. And then you uh, talk to someone from uh, Europe or somewhere else and they go, that's it, 250? Let's nice try. But the folks in England should remember that. Just throwing that out there. Some 21s, another 21. Just want to apologize from our end of the uh, ocean here for that skirmish a few years ago. We still love you. T.O. Wildcats. Coach, I see I'm not the only one that uses reverse psychology. <laughs> Thank you very much. Outstanding. T.O. Wildcats with the uh, $5 super chat. There you go. Yeah, it's uh, I read it in a book, I think. I don't read. I'm just kidding. I do recommend reading, though, if you're a uh, young person and you need to learn stuff. Uh, try that reading thing. That's pretty cool. T-bone sperm bank payment. Yes. Uh, <laughs> That's just nasty. But thanks for saying that, though. I appreciate that. John, if you had a root canal, it's not supposed to hurt. They take the nerve out. Yeah, the nerve is out, but the tooth is exposed. They haven't put the cover and the stuff on it. It's not so much the nerve. It's the uh, adjacent teeth and the open uh, wound area right now. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the root's gone. I saw them pull it out and wipe it on my shirt. Hope that's what they're wiping on the shirt. Coach, I have a 7980 and uh, 271s. They're worth about 50 cents a piece. Yeah, those are uh, those are common dates, unfortunately. Most uh, most all of these are common dates. Just have to look for the ones that are silver, like we found in the last batch. All right, so that was fun. Well, let's start with the fivers, with the five dollar bills. They didn't put them in their strap again for me, so these are all fresh to me. Can anyone spell? O-X-Y, oops, I meant title. <laughs> Outstanding. All right, that's just nasty. I shouldn't have done that, but we're going to touch paper money, so who cares, all right? So all we're looking for here are uh, really cool notes, star notes, old stuff, any kind of silver certificates, really cool, uh, what are they called, serial numbers, that kind of thing. We'll go through the fives really quick. Uh, again, they just kind of threw them in the bag. They didn't uh, flip them over, do whatever you're supposed to do with them. Look at all that. I guess I can flip those over. It'd be easier this way. We'll go through these real quick, see if we can find anything. I'll tell you what, though, that uh, $20 bill with the 1111 on it, the more and more I go through paper money and find nothing even close to that, that thing is a uh, hell of a collectible item. Congratulations to the owner, the current owner of that uh, collectible item. There you go. I got there, I got uh, 88B at the end. Uh, some of these. No, we're trying to find anything with six or more of the same numbers. I think that'll be cool. Some people might collect 007s. I just got off one place talking about inflation, and here comes and <laughs> see this money. That's right. Sorry about that. Like a drug dealer going to the craps table. That's what we do here. Jolly Bee fried chicken tonight? Absolutely not. It's soup tonight. Probably soup. I had Wendy's chili, uh, but 007 might be a collectible. You never know. Some people are crazy that way. I mean, that's a great collectible item that's going to have a lot of value someday. Again, it's only worth what someone's willing to pay you for it. There's a 2013 star note 
We've been putting all the star notes aside. I'm going to try to put a whole bundle of stars together just because. Something to do. If I need to spend it, you know, for like Kino or something, I can always just put them in the machine. When you collect at face value, you know, you're collecting for your future generations, but you're also collecting for the fun of it. I recommend it. Headed to the club with Dr. Cash later. Yes. No, no, no. Not going to the club. Dr. Cash is busy. Ooh, 999 at the end. Pretty cool. I'm going to set that one aside just because. Notice the thick ink and thin ink. I don't know if that means anything. Just different plates, different printings. Some going this way, some going that way. Still looking for anything with lots of eights or sevens on it. What does it mean when there's a star? I'm glad you asked. So notice how the front, there's two letters, the end, there's another letter. When they print the sheets of paper money, they all come out with the different serial numbers. If a sheet of paper money is damaged or uh, off cut or destroyed in any way, they will pull it out and burn it and throw it away and destroy it and shred it. And they issue what's called a star note sheet to replace that. And so star notes are scarcer because there's only like one sheet per how many ever they find. Sometimes they find five or six you know, bad sheets in a bunch or sometimes they don't find any. But if you see a star on it, this was a replacement sheet then for the run of regular bills. And so they're a little bit scarcer. If that uh, me, uh, matters in a collecting perspective to you. Uh, there are certain star notes that have a super value. It's a scarcer notes and then you find the star note version of it. Uh, I'm trying to put together an entire set of star note $1 bills with the different uh, Federal Reserve banks. We'll go through that stuff here in a moment too. Hopefully that answers your question. So if you find them, they're fun to put aside and then, uh, you know, you need to roll them up and uh, do whatever later with them you want to. You can still do that. Oh, seven, 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 eight. Okay, if this was the previous note, you would have five sevens in a row. That'd be a sweet note. This is an all right note. But five sevens in a row to end the bill would have been spectacular. We missed it by one. But I'm going to put that there to drive myself nuts for the rest of my life. Every time I see that, I'm going to tell myself I missed it by one. Just a memory of today's live stream. So close. So close. There's a good chance whoever initially got the fresh packs of fresh bills pulled that out as a collectible already, and we would have never seen it anyway. When did they stop making silver dollar coins? Uh... Silver, silver dollar coins, the 90% silvers were done in 1935. Uh, 1964, they made some peace dollars, but never released them. There are a few that are out there floating around illegally, according to the mint, legally, according to the collector world. You minted them, they're legal tender, but that's not how the mint sees it. Uh, and then uh, 1971 on to 78 were the big Eisenhower dollars. And they made some 40% collectibles in 71, 2, 3, 4, and 76. And then, of course, the, since then, it's been those little tiny dollars, none of which have been silver. There's another star note. It's from the 2017 A series. What is the estimated value you got there? Uh, 2,000, 4,000, 4,200, something like that. $4,500 is all. It's a light one today. We're not doing the 12,000. I already did all the 20s. When I was on Novocaine, I hope I counted them right. Otherwise, everyone's going to either be very happy or very upset. I volunteer to do all this because I like touching the money. It's all about the money. There's another one. This one's also a 2017A. It was a bad year for paper money, apparently. Save the tooth for the tooth fairy. There you go. Appreciate you, Janice. Click on that thumbs up. Uh, Cinnamon is waiting to get paid, coach, for a day shift working the stage. Was she on the main stage or was she working the VIP champagne room? Because the champagne room, they get an extra dollar. It's kind of like betting the uh, six and eight on the uh, come line versus the six and eight in the corner. Six and eight in the corner is even money. You get the extra buck if you put it on the uh, come or don't come line. Here's the uh, 2013 bill with the star. So you can see they're not super scarce. But uh, it's not the majority of the paper money. I'm trying to find one of the older bills, too. We've, we've yet to find an older five. I did get a whole bunch of 20s last time. A whole bunch of the 20s from the 90s. And I'll show those to you at some point. I don't have them with me today. The, uh, they had the old design on them. The, the design that was so boring back in the day because it was the same design since the 30s. And now that it's been gone for 20-some years, you're like, wow, that's so cool. A lot of people have never seen that old design, ever. So, is what it is. 
I don't get too uh, tied up and facing them right here. Okay, Steve, put the money in the mail and send it to me. It's all dirty and needs laundered. Oh, Robert, I forgot you were the laundering expert on the channel. Uh, when printing your own money, first of all, it's illegal and don't do it. Uh, if you're going to do it in a reproductive way as a educational tool, make sure it's a different size. Hide some of the uh, details because if you put paper money on most copy machines now, it will lock up the copy machine and you cannot recover the copy machine. And uh, you will be uh, most likely ending up on some sort of a watch list. So keep that in mind. You can uh, take pictures of it as long as it's a different size. Oh, here we go. We got two, two, three, two, two, five, two, four, five twos. It's five deuces on that one. We're going to hold that one. There you go. Five of a kind. But uh, yeah, do not copy paper money. They will come after you. If this was the only a five number serial number, that'd be a radar note, R-A-D-A-R, spelled the same forward and backward, but there's three numbers in the front of it. Doesn't count. Some pretty crappy money in condition wise here, but it's getting way used. Apparently there's a shortage. Allegedly. Is there a black market for dumb copiers? Yes, there is. There is. Uh, I'd make a joke, but it might be deemed political, and I certainly wouldn't go there. You counterfeit pennies. There you go. That's that's an endeavor worth. It costs more than a penny to make a penny, which is why they started making them out of zinc uh, with a copper coating many, many years ago. 1982, to be exact. And uh, nickels. Worth more than a nickel in the nickel also has copper in it, so it's illegal to melt U.S. currency, nickels and pennies, I believe, in the United States, but you can ship them to Canada and they can melt them there. And in Canada, you can't melt Canadian nickels or pennies there. Plus, they're all made out of aluminum or plastic or uh, some sort of polymer now. But the older ones, uh, a lot of value, like 30-some cents worth of nickel in a Canadian nickel from the 90s. Here we go, another 2017A. Traded all in for Turkish dollars. Is that five bucks? You're just happy to see me. I'm always happy to see you. Yeah, but in a ball game, when the idiots stand up forever, pennies are worth losing. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. I like that. Flapping through. 911. Okay, somebody might be an emergency operator and collect all the 911 bills. You never know. You can collect whatever you want, you can do whatever you want. Uh, unless it's for educational videos or purposes. Yes, you don't want to even touch that stuff. Uh, what, when I did freelance and side gig work, I would check the money and would get to make sure it was not fake. Yes, definitely. Nobody's going to counterfeit a one. I mean, they'd just be the dumbest criminals ever. Uh, fives, if you're really ambitious and that's the only fake plate you had. Uh, tens, not so much. I don't know why. But you get those 20s on up and it's open season. That's why you got to be careful. As soon as I get a big bill, I like to break it down in a... a gaming machine just to make sure it's legit not that it wouldn't be i mean can't imagine anyone would try that six seven four oh 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 four seven oh my goodness so close to a radar note look at that take away the one number seven four zero 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 four seven but it's got a six in the front still close enough we're going to call it a radar note not a radar note pretty close that was pretty darn close i'll keep that one for educational purposes Again, this is purely for educational purposes. We're doing this to uh, train, teach, enlighten, share with you. Coach, I have a $2 bill that are from 1953 Red Series and Red Stamped. I was told $2 bills are bad luck. Absolutely not. $2 bills are fantastic. Uh, I enjoy a $2 bill. And those old U.S. notes. It's a United States note versus a Federal Reserve note with the red seal on them. One U.S. is a million Turkish. Really? Are those going into the slots of fun machine? Possibly, possibly. All right, $10 bills have never found anything cool on a 10. Never yet. Today could be the day. These are brand new from the bank. They're really old bills, but new to us. Some sort of stamp on there. You got red in the uh, ink here. There was a time when uh, the paper had different red and blue uh, little threads in it to help tell you if it was real. What's good about the old Aztec machine uh, is that you could put in a sloppy one and get out six quarters. I don't know. Oh, you're talking about the actual gaming machines. All right, this, I'm not even enjoying the tens. There's something about the coloration that doesn't please my uh, visual palette. It's bothersome to me. Very bothersome. Not enjoying this at all. 
I'm gonna probably just go as fast as I can. What? Okay, they're not anywhere near, but they both ended in 08 with a different letter, and they're uh, both from 17A. That just was unusual to have back-to-back 08s like that. You prefer the 20s and above? Yes. This hurts your eyes, graphic one. I'll go slower. Let me know if that worked. There we go. We got the seven two seven two two nine seven three. Nothing special. We'd like to find another one with the ones. The one one one. one. That was really flipping cool. All right, there's some eights on this one. There's only four though. If there's like five eights in a row, definitely worth holding on to. Sorry, graphic one. I apologize. I'm on drugs. Legitimate issued by a doctor drugs, but I'm on them. That's why I'm not driving tonight. I hope you notice that. I'm going to take an Uber home tonight, and I'll Uber back tomorrow, just because it's not only for my safety, but for the safety of those around me. Nice stacks of tens. Yes, this is the new preferred exchange uh, rate in a uh, local dancing establishment. Our next stack of money here, very exciting. Every one of these has been in a G-string, is what I was told. I can't prove that, but that's what I was told. Now let me find some scissors. One moment. Some incising devices. Every one of them has been in a G-string. Let me speed up my camera or my uh, computer over here. There we go. Scissors and Purell. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pop the strap. You know how hard that is to do, especially when you're not looking. And flip it, get around the back side here. And uh, I don't want to cut any of the money, even though they're all used. We'll unstrap it here. There we go. Look at how they just bust right out once you take the strap off. So these are all ones. Make some stacks over here. We'll go through these babies. Let's let's count and make sure they're right. Yep, 100. Cool, here we go. If those bills could talk, yes. Uh, you can tell, by the way, they're folded. This one has never been in a G-string. You can tell because it doesn't have any creases. It's a nice bill. I'll show you one if we see one that might have been. Uh, looking for anything from the 90s as well. We've, we've rarely found anything that old. Here's an 03, a John Snow signature. Nicely worn. Those bills could talk. Uh, looking at uh, lots of different things on each bill right now. Date, it was a 2006 with the F. So Federal Reserve Branch, Atlanta, Georgia with the F. L, San Francisco, 2013. David Warren, I put dollars on my lips to grab something else and my lips got numb, felt like cocaine on my lips. Uh, dollars and 20s mostly, 20s and hundies will do that to you. Uh, it might be something else. You might want to have your lips amputated, but I would check with your doctor. I'm just speculating. 1991 was a good year. What happened in 91 that we can talk about on the internet? Nicely folded, nothing there. A little while later, I'll put these into uh, stacks 25, put the paper clip. Oh! Huh? Huh? Hmm. That looks like after production damage. If that, uh, if that had been like an ink bleed from a normal printing, if this was a brand new bill with that ink bleed on it, that would be worth some money. I'm going to keep it anyway, just in case. Not a lot of money. A little more than a regular bill because they don't let... So something like that, if there was a sheet where it was smudged like that, these would be pulled out and destroyed, and then the star notes would be put in its place. So actually, that was a great uh, educational piece right there. No offense to any strippers when I say educational piece they're all going to college here we go there's an old one look how wiped out that one is that's actually uh the fold the crease on this one look at the way it's folded in creases right there look at that i'm guessing and it's been bleached so that's also a good tip uh i'm guessing that this has been a stripper bill right here look at that Let's just tuck it right in we'll put that one off to the side and then i'll have my hands sanitized Nice 2009, nice and crispy with the Fort Worth. Got the FW versus the non-FW. 
Education be expensive, that's right. <laughs> I'm here to learn the foxtrot. Wrong kind of dancing. Uh, 2013, a lot of the newer bills. There's a smudgy one. I'm almost afraid to touch that one. That don't look like ink. Hey, Manushkins. <laughs> the Balsita? <coughs> uh, <coughs> there's some sort of odor coming off these. Oh! In my breathing mask. Oh my goodness. So I've seen a few with the 500 on the end. So yeah, that might be a collectible. It's halfway through the stack, huh? The white stained bill, yes. All right, there's our first 99. 90, well, actually 98, because we saved two of them. So we have 98 here. I want to put it back in its holder. So I'm going to take two out of the next one. One and two. Then to restack it, this is why you always count your money, even if it's in a wrapper from the bank. <laughs> Thanks, Graphic One. It's not that hard to put them back together. Now you can trust me, it's from the bank, and then pull like 20 of them out. You wouldn't do that. Some people might do that. Unethical people might do that, but we wouldn't do that. All right, let's flip these babies over. There we go. Let me put this off to the side here. You see anything you like? Shout it out. The skim, exactly. That's an old Vegas turf. It doesn't happen anymore. Absolutely not. Oh, another star note. There we go. That's from the Dallas branch. So, K, okay, we're going to hold on to that. So, we try to put the entire branch bank collection together. Janice wants a little speed behind it. You mean the drug or the uh, go faster? Can't really go faster. I'm, uh, yeah, exactly. If you see a blue seal on it, it's a silver certificate. Redskins won the Super Bowl in 91. That's right, Emma. That is absolutely correct. I remember that. Doug Williams. Guy's a pretty good guy. Did pretty good. Could throw that ball. Could run the ball. Did a lot with the ball. It's all about the ball. All right, this one might be... It seems more like it was folded that way than that way. I and mean, that'd be a little awkward anyway. So if you're like, you know, late in this shift or, yeah. I don't know. What do I know? I've never been to one of those places. I'm just speculating. Saw it in a movie one time. Oh, yeah. So we wrote 503 on there. Wish I had the white Honda station wagon from 1991. Is that what you drove? That'd be sweet. Be a collector's item now. Bunch of ones there. What do we got there? We got 101111. Not enough ones. We would have kept that one. Uh, uh, junk and stuff. Different stains. Where's George.com? So someone didn't have a sticker. But if someone wants to go on to wheresgeorge.com and type in that serial number, tell us where it was. Wheresgeorge.com. Some people uh, register these bills. Found a bundle of dollar bills in the street. Hey now, John Medina. Hey now. All right. Medina? Medina. Medina. There we go. Someone uh, going to do that Where's George for us? Cool. Big day for Graphic One. Big year. All right. So now we're going to draw from these to fill up our stack here. I already forgot how many we had in the other ones. So let me put these over here on our half dollars. Appreciate y'all joining me on a I Can't Drive Tonight stream. I probably could, but I don't want to. I don't want to take any chances whatsoever. Always got to be a responsible driver and a responsible citizen. Just because you probably can get away with something doesn't mean you should. So keep that in mind, you kids out there. Anytime you get uh, dental work done, don't dental and drive. All right, here we go. Cuffs and buttons, it's not official. <laughs> it's officially not playtime. No, it's not. All right. Going through fast. 
real quick, looking, seeing if anything just jumps out at us. We have a lot of these to go through. See anything weird, wild, crazy, I'll let you know. See how many more of those 500s we come across. There we go. Some eights. You get pretty good at it for a while. You see enough of these. You have a general idea what you're looking at when you go through it. Different feel of the paper, different flavor. Wild and woolly ones. Eh, 2009. There's a few nines in this one. Last time it was all the 13s and 17s. This is cool. Got a better shot at it. We did get that 1988A last time. That was really nice. It's beat to heck, but it was neat to see one. Nothings. A lot of nothing. Going fast. Got the half dollar rolls. The big finish today. The half dollar rolls coming up. We got 28 of them from the bank. And it uh, looks like a bunch of them might be solid date 1976. But I mean, that's just uh, written on the outside of the wrappers. We're not sure if that's true or not. We'll find out when we open them. Uh, some people might collect that one because of the nines and the twos. Uh, again, I'm just going to stack these over here because I've lost count. Monica H., aside from unique serial numbers, what else do you look for? Good question. Uh, if it's older dated, uh, we'll talk about web fed notes. Some of you have been here before. I don't have an older bill to show you the actual older bill, but these are printed in sheets of 32 notes. So there's 32 notes in a sheet and each note can be a different serial number run in that sheet. So then they have different numbers all over it. Uh, Fort Worth, C2, 12, uh, you know, San Francisco, that's the 12th uh, district. Here's Atlanta, the sixth district for the federal reserve. And on the back, there's different plate numbers and things as well. So on a web-fed note, they ran the paper, uh, much like you would do a printing press for a newspaper or something else where it's just a continuous roll, and they cut the bills out that way. On the web-fed notes from 1988 through the 1995 series, that plate number is above the E. So if you find an a, a older 95 through, uh, what do I say, uh, 88 through 95, and it's got that number on the back, it'd be a web fed note. Just a general one's like two or three bucks, but there's a lot of them that have some really good value to them. It's thousands of dollars for certain. The 88A star note in mint condition. Yeah, thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars. That's where the star note comes in. Here's another one right there. There's a nice star note, low serial number. Uh, serial numbers, if you find stuff that means something to you. If we ever saw 8675309, you know, 8675309 something. Could be a zero, 8675309. Someone would definitely pay money for that. There's one with four eights. Eight's a lucky number. We'll hold on to that. People collect the eights. Uh, we're also looking for off-cut notes. They have to be significantly off-cut. Notice how the edge here is less thick than that edge. Because sometimes they're really thick, sometimes they're not. This side, it's thicker over here. That one, you never know what you're getting until you actually get it. But uh, both seven, uh, 2017A series... This is not off-cut enough to be worth anything. It's just a bad note. But if it's off-cut to where you get a piece of the other note on this side or something like that or up and down, those can be highly collectible. Highly collectible. Anything with any kind of a printing error on it because that's why they have the star notes because they try to pull all those out. They've got people that have worked there for years that can just flip through stacks and look for any kind of an error. They can see design flaws and they rip them out and destroy them and put the star notes in. Flip it over. The different Federal Reserves, there's 12 different branches. Here's E, which is Richmond, Virginia. Uh, we are trying to catch Coach up at 1,000 rating, and he can't do it without everyone's help. That's right. Please hit that. Uh, yeah, exactly. Ones and eights, you bet. Everyone has lucky numbers. I guess fours are not lucky to some people. So if you had a bunch of fours on a note, you try to give it away to someone. What's that one there? It's just a faded note. Okay, maybe you collect all the 100, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, so on. So this one not only has a 700, but it's also cut this way. So interesting, interesting. It's a little more off cut. I'm gonna hold on to that for two reasons. <gasps> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six of the same number. Six of the same number, here we go. Not the greatest same number, 
but it's better than five nines, six zeros. Look at that. Here we go. Going to hold on to that one. There's a uh, definitely a liar's poker bill. Fantastic. Nice. That's a nice find. Two away from being worth probably a thousand bucks. Nice. Nice. May or may not make it rain later. Exactly. Let's get through these, uh, you know, and then we'll, uh, yeah. Show you how we clip them. For those of you that are in the business world or want to go in the business world, you want to get into cash handling, I'm going to show you some techniques on clipping here in a little bit. In the meantime, we'll flip through these babies. I like to have the, uh, that didn't really help. It's the same place. Oh, let's see. It's there or it's there. That's the same place. I don't want to lick my fingers and make them sticky so I can uh, make the bills go faster. So I'm using my other hand on this one. There's a 300. If you're trying to put the whole series together. The uh, other six numbers or five numbers are all messed up, but uh, here's a 2013 star note. We'll hold on to that. Maybe if I get a hundred star notes, I'll uh, sell them on eBay. Someone wants to buy a hundred different star notes. That'll be fun. Little tiny markup and a bunch on the shipping. Hello, coach, and everyone in the chat. It's Mark J. Poppy. That's right. We're going to go out and do, we're going to be trolling for uh, show people later. All right, four fives at the end. That, that could be uh, useful. <gasps> Look at that. Back to back notes. Twenty thirteen. 413, 3555, and 35556. Keeping both of those babies. Nice. 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 I said it again. I was emphasizing the nice part. Coach, are you a gun owner with all that money? I don't need to be a gun owner. I'm in the vault of a, a very secured place in the city where stuff like this is handled. Uh, if you've watched any of the Oceans uh, movies, you'll understand that it's impossible, unless, of course, Bernie Mac is with you, to attain access to these rooms. I just happen to know a guy. I've never been safer in my life. Another 2017 star. Plus, if you're going to take the time to go out and uh, do the deed, this is not the denomination you should be going after. There's, there's many other places. We sold the Lincoln Town Car for cash. We did. We did. I have to return half these bills. Up. <laughs> no, don't make me laugh. I've got an open tooth. Yeah. Yeah. If you're a pilot, you may want the 747 bill or not. Wasn't where you where you were? That's pretty amazing. Oh yeah, no, this is uh, we've done many of these. Every time the vault gets a new shipment, I get to go through. Yeah. Any tens? We went through some tens already. There was nothing there. I'm I'm offended by the tens. I'll never do tens again until the next time. I did uh, ten thousand and twenties earlier. Didn't find anything. I think I found two bills, but nothing of note. I just had to do it because we were busy. They needed the twenties in circulation, so I didn't have time to film it. Business first, you know. It's all about the business of business. I'm a businessman doing business. Nines and eights. Eights, going live later tonight. This is our live. I can't drive tonight. I'm uh, recovering from a root canal and extra Novocaine, and then the cap has come off my tooth. And so now I've taken uh, 1,200 milligrams of ibuprofen. And I'm going to assume, based upon that, that my flexibility skills are not as to the level they should be to operate a motor vehicle. It's a long way of saying, probably not. Go to go to Fremont and bring T-Bone. I'm sure I'd get beat up if I went down to Fremont tonight. There's a 600. All right, we're gonna put a whole set together of the hundreds. I'm excited. See, so many things to do on a night like this. It could be Taco Tuesday, Taco Salad Tuesday without the chips. Might be able to do that. Uh, I wonder if the Uber guy will take me. There's some 999. We've got a couple of 999s today. Liking it. Really crappy bill. 2009s. More nothing. Chez, how you doing? Is that twin sister two? I'm even more secure than Bronze Office. 
much more secure than Braun's office. And we're on camera right now, too. Everyone wave to the camera. Hey, camera. Yep. They have a, uh, what is it, the uh, recognition device, so they can actually count the money I'm counting, for the most part. Every time I flip through it here, it registers, and they can go back. They have such detail on the cameras. That way, if someone's counting like a stack of 25 ones, and they think there's only 24, and the other person says there was 26, you can actually go back to the camera, and it will tell you what's going on. That's how Vegas runs. Coach, you're going to catch cocaine buzz handling all these American bills? Probably, but if you're doing uh, $1 bills, you're probably not doing cocaine. Here we go, 1999. Larry Summers, Mary Elizabeth Matthews? I don't know. So 99, that's the oldest bill so far today. We're going to hold on to that one. Nice. Uh, you can add extra stops on the Uber? Cool. Maybe I'll fire it up and then I'll talk to the Uber driver. Those are always fun. Always fun. That's last century. Look at that. For those of you not old enough to remember the last century. Amazing. This is uh this is this is pre-9-11 probably. You know how they carbon date stuff and they look to see what kind of radioactivity uh, is on the bills and all that. We can find out if there's any uh, carbon dating on that stuff there. 2009, nice and crisp. That's already 14 years old. Something like that, possibly. Here's a stamp from the bank. Where do you sell the rare bills, so Big Daddy? I will do them on uh, uh, either on eBay or on uh, Macari.com or just directly if someone's interested. A lot of people contact me directly when they see something, go, hey, can I get those from you? And I don't mark stuff up very much at all just because I like the collectible end of it. Uh, the, the 11111 bill, uh, I sold it for a premium, and, uh, and certainly I know the person that got it got a smoking deal after doing some research on it. And I'm very excited about that because I want you all to enjoy the hobby. I want you all to get the fruits of the labor. I just enjoy doing it. it makes great content, in my opinion. Uh, someday nobody will be watching Kino, but these, you know, when they want to know what paper money used to look like, these videos will live forever, in my opinion. Or they may get rid of these because they don't want to remind people what paper money was in the future. In a movie plot I once saw. Although saying the movie plot thing doesn't work because uh, Woody Harrelson tried that. Oh, yeah, nothing here, nothing to see here. You're going to carbon date you soon? <laughs> I've been on some buses where there's some carbon dating going on. Nothing, nothing, lots of nothing. That's why the uh, good ones are worth some money, because there's so much that has nothing going for it. All right. You can collect all 12 uh, Federal Reserve branches, so you find pick a year that you like, like 2013 or 2009. And uh, just pick, try to collect all the different branches. So this is the E branch from Richmond, Virginia on the 2009 that we found. We got three more stacks here, then we'll do the half dollars. The big finish is coming up. Thank you for being here. Appreciate y'all. Please hit the thumbs up. Nancy Herman, when do you find, uh, when you, so when you find a bill or coin, where do you sell? Uh, Macari.com, I've been selling on there. Uh, I think it's called Arizona Collectibles. I haven't been on there for a while. Did a lot of coins and baseball cards and paper money. Uh, also, uh, we get on eBay periodically, depending on the value, because eBay has some protections with it, and then some direct sell stuff. And then every once in a while, I'll actually sell it to a wholesaler that goes out and markets it. Uh, here in town, there's a coin shop out on Sahara on the west side, far west side, that I've been to many times uh, to sell silver and things that I find. They pay a decent price. They, of course, make their own money on it. But... Uh, do I ever, John Doe wants to know if I ever find any blue silver certificates. No, I've not found any in ever. Back in 70s, I would find one or two, but I didn't have any money back then. So a $1 bill back then was a lot of money for me. I think I'm buffering. Are we buffering? Check one, two, check one, two. Let me hit the refresh here. What's the reason for the count? Eli, for poker, we are uh, just going through the bank here. Uh, just you're setting up the uh, bills for the, uh, the the hotel here. We have to use paper money here at this hotel. We're in Vegas. And so since these come in, I like to do the count, verify the amount, and then uh, put them in stacks before I issue them to everybody. And this is just something fun for me to do. Here's uh, three eights at the end. We're going to keep that one. It's just my thing. I like doing it. Just try to share the hobby with everybody. Here's some more nines. Look at that. Nine, 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 nine. Another one, we get a whole series of 9999s. <coughs> 
It's like baseball cards. Number 660 or number one had a premium back in the day because they were always damaged at the top or the bottom of the set. They rub put rubber bands around them or whatever they would do. It's got to be my internet. Okay, so here's a low 0400 that's written on, has no value. Here's some more eights, 8888. So if this was eight bills later with four eights at the end, it'd be very exciting. I think the buffering's on my computer. It has nothing to do with y'all. Y'all still here with, no? Holy crap, there we are. Okay, we're back. It was buffering. Hold on. Hold on here. Holy crap. I was trying to figure out what was going on. Got to plug it in. And let me hit refresh again. Are you guys still with me? Hello. Picture froze. We're back. Hopefully we're back. Let me see here. We are back. Dave Zoom, how you doing? Yes, looking for radar notes if we can find them. We love radar notes. Do you offer better exchange rate? I only get 67 cents for an Australian dollar at the ATM. Uh, depends. I never lost me. Good. Uh, depends on the exchange rate. Uh, some of those bills, uh, the coins and stuff, I, I collect them myself, so I don't mind that at all. I'll pay you full face sometimes, depending on the bill and the country and all that. I have a great big collection of foreign coins that I pull out of rolls. If if we get going really good tonight and we find something or we get motivated, I have an entire box of nickels. They appear to be a brand new box, all brand new coins. I got to figure out how to look into it without tearing it open because if it's a sealed box of 21, 22, 23, something like that, uh, some people buy them. What are radar notes? I'm going to show you here in one second. It's a good question. I like your questions. You guys are awesome. Occasional skipping signal. Okay, well, I got it plugged in now. Hopefully that'll help it. So a radar note, the word radar, R-A-D-A-R, -A -A spelled the same forward and backwards. So if you get a serial number that's the same forward and backward, it's a radar note. It's just a harder one to find, and so people will pay a premium for that. Uh, what silver coins do you think are the most important to keep? All of them. Anything with silver in it, set it aside if you find it for face value. Some people buy it in bulk. There's some really great dates that uh, back when I used to have a coin shop and work at coin shops, some scarce dates were just traded as silver because silver shot up to about $50 an ounce. And anything and everything was going into the melt, bucket, uh, melt buckets. And so I would go through that and pull out rare dates that were worth more as silver than they were at dates at the time because it hadn't caught up on the numismatic value. And I put together a great collection of coins back in the day uh, doing it that way. Some Carson City uh, silver dollars that just melt. That was a heck of a deal. And to that guy in Alaska on the school bus back in 1979 or 1980 that wanted to buy a silver dollar from me, and I went out and got it for you, and it was an 1878 Carson City dollar, and you paid $45 for it, but then silver dropped six months later and you wanted your money back. The reason I didn't give you your money back is because you had an 1878 Carson City silver dollar, and it's not my fault the price of silver dropped. I hope you held on to it. I think we were the fortune today. But he had his mom actually talk to my mom and complain. Not that I've, uh, you know, dwelled on that my whole life and I've never gotten over it. Devet Chambers, how you doing? Brian Forrest, August Ice. It's the Money and Coin Show. Yes, it is. Uh, still looking for, if we find a radar note, I will definitely show you. Here's another star note. I've been talking about the star notes. We keep all those just because. Fun stuff here. Forget that guy's name. I could guess his name because uh, he's one of the few people I've met in my life that wasn't either a Native American Alaskan or someone of a Caucasian descent. Came from a uh, another Asian country in the middle of the country, not your typical uh, assumed Asian country. And uh, it was interesting to meet someone from a foreign country. It really stuck out in my mind. I tried to be a friend. You know, I went out and got the, uh, the goods for him. I was trading in silver as a uh, high schooler. Clancy Winterbottom. <laughs> that was not the name. It's a great name, though. Clancy Winterbottom. All right, let's uh, go through the last one here. Then we got the half dollar rolls coming up. So get yourself some snacks and some popcorn. It's going to be fun. The half dollars are a blast. Might find some silver. We found five silver half dollars last time. If you find a bill 
that was folded over when printed, okay? And they do this. And so it'd be like this when they print it. Then when you open it up, there's just white paper underneath here. Those are worth so much money. If you can find one of those ever, oh my gosh. Oh, looks like a horrible bill and you want to draw a picture on it. Don't. Leave it in original condition and find yourself a coin dealer, a baseball card dealer, money dealer. Or get a hold of me, I'll get to Mikey Bags of Money. He knows all about money. He has bags of it. Rodeo Houston is over. Fantastic. Monica H., you should have a stream channel dedicated to this stuff on a regular basis. It's great. Thank you very much. Tim Flynn, is your girlfriend a stripper? Yes. Uh, she earned all this this afternoon. She's a daytime stripper. Had a triple C section, so that's all the work she can get. If that was offensive to you, I do apologize. And that was all made up as well. Be sure to read the description on the channel here. 99% of everything we do is made up. Coach, I have a gold $20 1894 coin here in Australia. Ooh, take a picture of it and send it to me. Let me take a look at it. That'd be awesome. Yeah, the gold value is probably the more value of it, but uh, yeah, fantastic. What's the peso exchange rate at the English today? <laughs> uh, I don't believe we're taking uh, foreign currency at the English itself, so. Wow. I appreciate you assuming I had a girlfriend. That's awfully nice. There's a 900, look at that. 900 bill. Uh, Mrs. Cash would be very disappointed in me if, uh, if that was the case, so not today. Just funning with you, just musing. Sarcasm, all those things. All right, we went through one thousand one dollar bills. Look at that, huh? Yes, the fresh bills starting with that number. Yes, those are a great way to get radars. I, I keep asking for brand new bricks of bills. They're not getting them in right now for some reason. But uh, next time they get them, I get them. It's the same bank where I get my half dollars. USA down to the final three outs, three to two in the middle eighth. Uh, the Japanese team was going to win the whole time. That's just the way it is when they get to the championship games. Been involved in baseball way too much in my life to know differently. All right, here we go. Half dollars. Everybody ready? Let's do it. Hey now, Eli for poker. Hey now. All right, we got, uh, there's 20 coins in each roll. It's a $10 roll of half dollar bills. And most of these, I bet, are bicentennial because that's what it looked like. Uh, this one is not written on the outside, but they may all just be bicentennial, yeah. All bicentennial. So someone set all these aside, thinking they're going to be worth some money someday. They might be worth some money in three years. Look at that. All right, here we go. Next one. This could be very boring or very exciting here. We'll find out. Oh, look. Bicentennial ones. Yay. All right. This one has 1976D written on it. Let's take a look at it. You were just kidding when you said show me the money? Oh, I, I take you serious in everything you say. Ooh, what's that one? No, it's not. There are silver opportunities within 1976. They made some collector sets, both proof and uncirculated, with 40% silver halves. I'm guessing we won't find those here. I have a good feeling that the uh, El Cortez is going to get some new half dollars in their circulation here. So far, so bad. What do we got here? Oh, different. These are not the Bicentennials. 71... 71, 71, 71, 71. Take a guess which one this is. Are silver bars worth anything these days? One ounce, two ounce, yes. Price of silver times, and then less like 3% is what they pay you a premium, or less of a premium. 71, 71, 77. All right, something new, 72. It's more 71s. So when we found a bunch of fresh 71s down in the slot machines the other day, it's probably because of people like this that set them aside and then uh, decided to put them into the uh, circulation. You just click money or USA Numismatics. Yes, love it. Used to be my thing. I used to have coin shops, baseball card shops back in the day. Then they had kids who had to actually eat, had to get a real job. All right, let's keep going here. All right, these are not bicentennial. It's fantastic. 74D. We're going to set that one aside because there's a variety of those that we like. <coughs> oh, there's a proof. Okay, here we go. 1984. Look at the mirror-like design and the frosty Kennedy head. It's a 1984 S from San Francisco Mint. And these are only made in proof sets. Uh, see if you can see the S there between the 9 and the 8. 
Uh, so it's a proof coin, but it's called an impaired proof because it's been put into circulation. Someone either broke open a set to spend it or someone stole somebody's collection and spent it. But uh, this is uh, probably got, someone can look it up, but 1984 S Kennedy half dollar, probably three and a half to four and a half million is all that were made versus, you know, 15, 20 million for the regular coins that year. So we'll set that one aside just because it's fun to collect. It's not worth that much because it's in bad condition. 71s, 90. Cool. That was fun. It's exciting. Nobody expected that, especially me. 71, 96, 71, 71. 71 is one of the most common half dollars out there. Uh, no date written on this one. Here we go. 166 folks watching. Thank you so much for being here. It's uh, cash or crash tonight. It's cash. We're doing cash. 95P, 95D. 95, 95, 96. So this person does what I do, which is stack them up by years and then put them in rolls by years. So if you're putting sets together, you know where to find them. So 95s and 96 in this roll, 97s. Nice 97 Philadelphia. I'm gonna hold on to that one. The 90s in real good condition are hard to get. Uh, there's a bunch of them, but they're all beat to heck. All oh, beat to heck, yeah. Oh, it's got a scratch on it. I'm not going to keep that one. 97, 97, 98. So if you find some real nice ones from the 90s, hold on. I have a bunch of Douglas MacArthur 42 Philippine coins that have silver in it. Cool. Uh, yeah, those you can actually look up if you go on eBay and type in those dates. You'll see all kinds of those available from circulated uh, to mint condition ones and all that. And they can give you a value. You can actually look at them and see if there's any varieties. Uh, a certain variety that I got lucky, 1982 was in Mexico, and I bought a bunch of peso coins, 20 peso, one peso, all that, and there was a variety from 1981 that had the eight, which was a closed eight or an open eight, and so the top curl of the eight was open on one design, which was very scarce, and the closed eight was very common, and I got a whole bunch of each one of those, I just took it back to Arizona with me, and I didn't learn about it till several years later, and uh, I was able to sell a bunch of those to collectors. It's very cool. I just happened to be in Mexico at the right time. Count Dracula. What's up? Good to have you here. I needed some help counting. You haven't been here all night. Now i got to do it all by myself. All right. Here we go. What do we got here? 71. What a shock. 71. 80. 72. Let's see if we can find an 82 or an 83. And I'll show you what the difference is. So here's another one. A lot of people write on the half dollars. I don't know why. Maybe they had 300 of them. They want to remember that or... That's the beginning of a phone number or something. But when we go put them in slot machines, I like to keep track of when I put those in. And then if they come back out in the hopper, it tells me how many coins are in the hopper. It gives me a general idea. 74D, we'll hold on to that one. There's a double image, double die. You have a bunch of Indian head pennies and wrappers. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's some real good Indian head pennies. There's some common ones. But even the common ones now are 50 cents to a dollar, you know, 50 times to 100 times value, depending on the condition or better. I used to put Indian head scent collects, collections together. The 08 San Francisco and, of course, the 09 San Francisco, a couple of the prizes in that set. It's 1877, 76, 78. I bought a couple of rolls of 1881s one time from a guy. He just happened to have those dates. Spent years trading them to other people. 74, just nothing here. No silver, no nothing. That's okay. These are going to end up in a uh, slot machine. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to go down later this week and do that. So where should you turn your coins in the bills for best value? Uh, online trading. You find someone who's interested in it and trade it through a reputable source like eBay or uh, Macari. You pay a little premium, but you have uh, protection. So I've, I've been ripped off many times on the internet, but with the protection, there's 900 on that one. Uh, you can have some protection, buyer protection and seller protection with those uh, major services. I am not a stock holder in that. I used to do eBay as a secondary income back in the early 2000s. Way too expensive to do it now. I wouldn't do it for the type of stuff I trade in. I believe the last real item I sold on eBay was a Lou Gehrig rookie card for $5,500. And that was a card that I bought in 1990. And I held on to it to uh, help one of my kids go to college and to help pay for the trips to go uh, visit medical school. So it actually did exactly what it was entitled for. That was really cool to get that. Here's the 94s to go along with that other roll of the 90s. 
the ugly one, 95s. So someone was collecting by year, and when it came time to turn these into the bank, they just rolled them up, stacked them up, and rolled them. Pretty cool. Just emailed you a couple pictures of my gold coins. Thank you, Ozzy Angie. I'll take a look at them. Very exciting. Uh, if you take this stuff to the bank, they give you face value. I found many great collections in the bank. Someone will pass away and the kids don't know what they have. They just go roll it up and put it in the bank. Many rolls of silver, collectible stuff all the time. Uh, sometimes the bank tellers are very smart and they just take them. Other times it's just there and uh, for the picking. A bunch of 74 Ds. So I'm going to keep all these and take a look at them under a microscope or a magnifying glass. I got a jeweler's loop and see if there's any double dyes in those. Probably not. That's why they're worth so much money. Money is the dirtiest thing you can touch, even dirtier than our minds. Uh, I would beg to differ. In Vegas, it's the second most dirty thing you can touch. The hooker at P Alley ranks number one. There we go. That lady who washed up in the P Fountain. That's the one. No offense to her. Sorry to P Fountains around the country. All 71s, no value. If you find a uh, clipped planchet, how exciting. Hush money. That's right, Captain Shadow. We're going to find someone who will shut up for 50 cents. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 71. Tons of 71. 71, 71, 71. Now, let's say you win the lottery. Lizard Lady might be the first. Yes. If you win the lottery, let's say you win $100 billion in the lottery. I would then, one of my things I would do is find a coin a specific year and buy every one of them. It's like 1971 half dollars. For a while, you get away at face value, and then pretty soon, people are like, wait a minute, where are they all going? Who's buying them? So we're up to 2000, 2001. They used to have value of the 2001, but then the Mint released a bunch of bags of them. Going quick. Oh, 92, 71s, 74p, 90s, a little mix of everything. Oh, here's another one with a number written on the back. 964. My mom worked at the bank for 50 years and found a lot of coins that people didn't know what they had exactly. Uh, T-Bone's not supervising tonight. Tonight, our supervisor is Kangaloon. He's a Kino Roo and also a banker, a certified banker. It's Kangaloon. Kino Roo. Or Kangaroo Kino Loon. Oh, I get it wrong every time. I'm so sorry, Kangaloon. 72s, here's a nice one. Here's a semi-uncirculated one. You can tell by the uh, original mint luster, but it's got machine marks around the edge here. Not worth holding on to. 72s, no real value. 73s, it's Kangaloon, yes. That's his, that's his uh, zoological classification. Kino Ru is the name. Ah, uh, more of the bicentennials. You can see how scarce they are. Had they been scarce, I'd be very excited right now, but since they're not, just more. Ninth inning coming up, Otani versus Trout. Third up, nice. Otani's pitching for Japan. It over. All right. More 71, 71, 72. Here's an 80s, okay, 99. So 83 really beat up. This one looks like it's been through many slot machines. Look how bad the face is on that. So as this machine's spitting out, ding, 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 it just really tenderized the front of that. Whereas this one, a 74, nice condition. We'll hold on to that. Bad bunny. Uh, 72, 71s, lots of 72s and 71s. If you don't have any, save one. A blessed birthday to all March birthdays. Thank you, Janice and Adam. All right, we're down to our last few rolls here. I don't think we're going to find any silver, but you never know. It could be a whole roll of silver. There's stuff from the 60s in here that they didn't know about. 76. Uh, uh. Ah. I'm going to stack them up. Ah. All right, here we go. Something different here. No silver. 90s again, 73, 94. It's our first 94, I think. More 70s, 90s mixed together. 74D, very nice. 2000, they made so many of them that year, uh, expecting everyone just to hoard them and keep them and collect them. 
Here's another 84. Remember the one with the uh, frosted uh, Kennedy before, which actually was the name of my band back in the day? Look at that. This is the regular strike, the circulation strike. It has frosted Kennedys. We did cover music. 76. What do you guess these are? Oh, look, Bicentennial. Uh, no marking on this one. Let's hope for this silver roll. Here we go. It's the silver roll. Or not. What do we got here? 79. Oh, let's find some 78 Denvers. Ah, don't drop them. 78 Denvers, a good coin to hold on to. 80, 80. Maybe it's going the wrong way. 79. 79, 79. Oh, all 79s went the wrong way. 80. So 1980 is the first year that the Philadelphia Mint had any uh, mint mark on a half dollar. So there's a little P down here under the uh, bust and above the 9 and the 8. So 1980 was the first time the Philadelphia Mint got their mint mark on a coin. Other than the war nickels of 1942 through 1945, there's a big P on the back of those. There we go. Trucking landlord, how are we doing? Yes, it's a bust. I have a few Cougarans and quite a big collection of various coins. June Demond, cool. Cougarans, for the longest time when I uh, first started collecting in the 70s, had to be collectible Cougarans. It couldn't just be Cougarans due to apartheid and restrictions placed on the uh, South of African gold. Uh, but once those restrictions were released, it became a very uh, solid exchange uh, medium for uh, gold. So it depends on the year. Some of those that were from those uh, embargoed years are pretty collectible. All right, last two rolls here. Last two rolls. This one says 76 nice. We'll see. We'll be the judge of that. Oh, they are nice. Oh, wow. It's like an uncirculated roll. Okay, we may hold these. They're not uncirculated. You can see that they've been in circulation with the dirt and grime and all that. Well, we're not going to hold them. Someone else can find those. And our last roll, here we go. Commemorative moonshine at the South Point Casino. These coins are making me thirsty. I like that. All right, we did not get any of the late 70, like 77, 78s. There's 93s, 94s. So here's the mid, early 90s. 92 coins because of the economy really sucked. That was back in the savings and loan uh, economic problems. 92 and 93, some of those coins are worth some good money because again, slow economy fewer coins, more collectible. Well, that's it. That's all we got. I made a mess here. Wow. Well, thank you all for being here. Um, no live stream out at a casino or anything tonight. I do have one more recorded video coming out later tonight to make up for my inability to go live tonight. So look for that notification. I'll make sure it's out at least a half hour before, uh, before it goes live so everyone can have a chance to see it. I'm gonna pack all this stuff up and get it put away into the vault so I can get it merge out of the casino vault here and get back up to life, get my Uber home, and then I will uh, fire something up there. I do have one roll left where? Oh, thank you. Mark T all over it, thank you. Oh look, Bicentennial, yay. Cool, I appreciate that, thank you. Make sure I got them all. Got them all. Uh, so our collectibles, let's run through them real quick. We got the bill with four sevens and an eight. This is the one I'm keeping to remind me that I missed it by one. Got a $5 star note, a lot of nines, 007 at the beginning, 900 star note, 999 again, 888. Oh, because it was a 2009 in pretty good condition. Here's our 1999. This is the oldest bill we found today, 1999. The Prince bill. Nines at the end. Here's a 600, star note. Four fives, ending the bill out. Oh, the five, okay, here, that's right. This was the back-to-back, -back, the 5555 and the 5556. So we got those. Another star note, 300. Six zeros on this note. This might be my favorite note of all today. That one right there, 700 at the end, a bunch of eights on this one, star note. Uh, the nines and the twos on this one, very, very collectible. Another star note. The smudge, I don't think that's real. Uh, this is the 
seven. Okay, st uh, was asking the question on radar notes. So if this six wasn't there, if it was just a seven four zero 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 four seven, that's what a radar note would be because it's the same forward and backward. So if you find those, they have collectible values. This one's real close. Another star note. Lots of twos. Had five twos on this one. One, two, three, four, five. Star note. Star note. And finally, star note. So those are our collectibles tonight, along with the uh, proof. 1984 half dollar. Appreciate you all very much. We will see you soon. I look for another uh, chance to chat later on tonight, right here on Cash or Crash. Tonight it's all cash. We cash tonight. What a mess. Braun, I need your help. We need 20 quick. Yes. <laughs> all right. We'll see you all soon. Thank you so much. Rock and roll. Good night. Appreciate you.